welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today's video is a fun one. I'm going to take some of those bigger baby items and I'm going to say would I buy them again knowing what I know now with my kids. So this is would I buy it again baby edition. So let's get started. So item number one, a pack and play. Would I buy it again? Yes, I definitely would buy it again. Uh, we used the pack and play. Actually, it stayed in our living room with both of our kids. When it was in the living room, we had the bassinet set up. So as they were babies, they would lay in the bassinet. Once they got older, they can lay on that top part. We would change their diapers in there. And it was kind of just a safe place to keep them when they were in the living room with us. Definitely now we have used it a lot as an actual pack and play. We have taken it with us to people's houses. We'll set it up in their master bedroom and especially Max will sleep in there while we're doing dinner or whatnot. So it has definitely been something that has been useful for us with both of our kids and I would buy it again. A bassinet for them to sleep in while they're in our room. Now we didn't have a specific bassinet. It was actually a bassinet that came with our old stroller at the time. And we used that with Lily. We bought a little bassinet rocker that it sat on. Um, and then for Max, we bought the co-sleepers. So out of those two, I would not buy a bassinet for our room, like a traditional bassinet, but I definitely would buy the co-sleeper. And actually the co-sleeper is one of my all time favorite baby items. And I wish I could rewind time and have the bassinet when I had Lily, especially as a preemie and how tiny she was. I really wish I had the co-sleeper at the time, but I had it for Max, I absolutely love it. I think everybody should have the co-sleeper. I know there are like the Halo one is a popular one, but I love the co-sleeper and I wish I would have had that with Lily. So I would not buy a traditional bassinet because there are such different um, items that they have right now like the co-sleeper or the Halo. And I think they have some other variations, but I wouldn't buy a traditional bassinet for them to sleep in in our room. Now, if you can afford a nice stroller right away, I say go for it, especially if you plan on having multiple kids. You get a lot of uses out of your stroller. If you have multiple kids, you'll get a lot more use out of it. So um, from the very beginning with Lily, we bought an Uppa stroller. We actually bought it used off of Craigslist, which at the time was still a $400 stroller. It was one of my favorite baby items at the time. But when we had Max, then it was like, oh, I should get a double stroller. So we ended up selling that on Craigslist and then we bought the City Select double stroller. Knowing what I know now, I would have bought a double stroller from the very beginning. We always knew we wanted multiple kids. We knew we wanted them close apart. So a double stroller wasn't necessarily on my mind at the time, but I wish it would have been, and I wish I would have even heard that tip, because then I would have looked into that. The City Select stroller, I think it was about four or $500, um, but I absolutely love it because it does so many different things, because you can use it as a single stroller, and then when you need it as a double stroller, you can buy the attachments to have it as a double stroller. You can also buy a little board that goes on the bottom that a kid can stand on the back, which actually right now, I'm looking into that right now instead of using it as a double stroller because Lily's at a perfect age where she can walk around. She doesn't always want to sit. She listens to us. She stays by us. But there are times where it's like, I wish I could just put her in the stroller and we could all go. So right now, I'm looking to get the attachment so she can stand on it when we're strolling and then when she can get off, she can just walk along. But I wish I would have gotten that option with my first child from the very beginning getting some sort of uh, double stroller that can use as a single and then a double instead of doing what I did. Wraps versus like baby carrying something like the Ergo or the Baby Bajorn. We got the Baby Bajorn um, when we had our daughter and I've used it with both of them and I absolutely love it. I heard, um, I've heard a lot of good reviews on the Ergo so if that is something as far as just a carrier that you want I would look into either one of those. Now when it comes to a wrap um, I I can't right now remember the name of the wrap that I had, but I will definitely show you a picture and leave it linked for you guys. Now I bought it with my daughter because she was a preemie, so she was super tiny and couldn't fit in the carrier yet. So I bought this wrap for her and I really couldn't figure it out and I ended up just packing it and just taking it back and returning it. So then when I had my son, I decided, oh, I'll probably wear him a lot more, so let me get the wrap. And I went and got that same wrap thinking, I would know this time how to use it or because he was a bigger baby and again I used it a couple times I didn't like it and I never returned it now I'm stuck with this $40 wrap that I've never used I don't like it I just prefer the carriers over the wraps they just feel a little bit more safe for me and then my husband can wear them as well so I personally prefer any type of carrier over the wraps now anything to do with a bumbo um, I don't know the name of the one I have it starts with an I and now when I just got with Max and with my daughter, I had a summer something. Um, 
you know what? I don't like them. Uh, the one with my daughter, we barely ever use. It came with like a toy tray that I thought was awesome. It got in the way. I ended up selling that and then getting this one that I have with Max. And we just didn't use it that much. And um, I think I've used Bumbos as far as like what friends have had. And I think out of all of them, I do like the Bumbo more. I feel like it supports the baby more. Um, as a younger baby than the other ones do but I've also heard people say they don't like the bumbo because it doesn't work for all babies so for the price of them you know what honestly I don't think they're worth it and maybe the use I did get out of it was like such a small window like a handful of times maybe it was convenient but at the end of the day for the price that they are I don't think they're worth it and I would not buy it again baby bathtubs we had a baby bathtub we got with our daughter. We used it with her, we used it with Max, and we loved it. It has a little um, insert that's like mesh that they sit on when they're first, just little tiny babies and they can't sit up yet, and it worked amazing having a preemie. We never washed our babies in the kitchen sink. I don't think our old house, the way it was laid out, that was convenient for us, but we really liked the tub. We kept it with us, it made them move with us here to Northern California for us to use in the future. So I do recommend a baby bathtub. However, when it comes to the baby bathtub, I know they have some now where you can run the water and it will circulate the water as far as it, it dumps old water and then the new water comes in. I would highly recommend that option because I don't know how many times as they're newborns and they end up like pooping in the bath water and then you have one parent scooping them up, dumping everything out and trying to get fresh water or like my son, I knew when he would pee in the water, it's like you have to clean everything out. So to have some sort of bathtub where the water, fresh water is coming in and then the old water is going out, that I think is a great option and I do wish ours had that. All right, baby food makers. So we got one of those fancy baby food makers. Um, it was a gift for my mother-in-law. I really wanted it. I was so excited to have it. Would I buy it again? No. We use it a lot with my daughter because we did do the whole purees and traditional route of feeding her. And I did get a lot of use out of it, but at the end of the day, you know how to steam or roast your own vegetables and you can mash it up with a spoon or a fork or you have a blender. You don't need to spend the $150, $150 on a baby specific one. With my son, we did baby lead weaning. I've done a couple videos on that, so I'll leave that linked for you guys. Um, and I used it like once or twice to steam some of the food that he can chew on. But honestly, I think I used it just because I had it and I was like, I should use this if I have it. But I want to buy a specific baby food maker again. Now I have for a high chair the space saver ones. I think I have the Fisher Price where they just hook onto your dining room chairs. I absolutely love them. I would buy them again. We have two of them. My daughter doesn't use it now. But um, yeah, given the space of our old house, it was exactly what we needed. It fit our needs perfectly instead of having a big bulky seat somewhere. I loved having this. Now, the uh, I will say a plus side too, because they come with like a, um, a cushion on them. The cushions clean really well by throwing them into the washer and dryer. However, I kind of wish the cushion was just more of a wipe down material because after one feeding, it could be a disaster and it's like I didn't want to wash that every night. So now with my son, honestly, it's not even on there and he just sits on the plastic. I don't even have it on there, but yeah, I, I would buy it again. Changing tables. So I did have um, some older ladies in my life tell me they never had a changing table with their kid. They just changed them on the floor or on the bed and I was like, that's ridiculous. With my daughter, I used her changing table up until she was like two years old, up until she outgrew it. With my son, that's a different story. He, to this day, he hates diaper changes. The second he learned how to roll over and fight you, he fights you on every diaper change. Every time you have to change his clothes, he hates being held down. And by the time he was nine, 10 months old, it was actually not safe to have that thing because he would try to roll himself out of there. And so with him, we change him on the floor. So, um, would I buy it again? I probably would because every kid is different. Um, now I have one, so I'm gonna use it with my next child if we have a next child. But I think it's one of those things where you have to decide for yourself. Some of them can be really expensive. With my daughters, I actually bought her on one of those Facebook resale sites for 20 bucks. Totally worth it because I did get a lot of use out of it. With my son, I bought his at Ikea for maybe maybe 50 bucks at that. I do think it's worth it for what I used it. I liked it, it matched his room and I'm gonna keep it for potentially a next child. So um, I think I would buy it again, although it was kind of a hassle and now I just change him on the floor and I fight him on the floor. 
a swing. Now that's an inter <laughs> now that's an interesting one. I actually originally did not have a swing with my daughter, and I remember I was going crazy because I did have a, a, a difficult nursing journey with her, and I remember just like finding it difficult to put her down while I needed to pump and then feed her. And my friend was like, "You don't have a swing, Jennifer. I did. If I knew you didn't have a swing, I would have bought you one like days ago." And so I ended up taking. She, we had a bouncer that she obviously wasn't ready to play in yet. I returned that, took that money, and bought a swing with it. And it definitely was helpful. Um, I used it a lot more with Max. The swing does act like another set of hands for you. Now there are like little bouncer seats, the rock and play. There are different variations of that. So I will say, I don't know if it was necessarily the swing or just because I finally had a device of some sort I could put him in that had a little bit of motion, you could play some songs and just relax him. So the swings can be really expensive. They can be really bulky and whatnot. I never had a rock and play and I hear so many good things about those, but definitely some sort of seat. I did have a bouncer, a little bouncer, and my daughter didn't like that and Max loved that. So some sort of thing that can play music, swing, bounce, vibrate, something to help soothe them. Honestly, it acts like an extra hand, um, especially if your husband's at home or if you're both home and you just need something to put them in. I highly do, I highly do, I do recommend something like that. Does it have to be a swing? In my opinion, in our experience, no. A baby monitor, yes, 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 and yes. And I highly recommend a video monitor. I do have friends that use just the audio ones and that worked great for them, but I just have, I sleep better and I have so much more peace of mind when I can see them. See what they're doing, see if they're whining or fussing is actually because they need something or they just kind of in between that sleep cycle and they're just kind of fussing around. So I definitely would highly recommend some sort of video one. When we bought our daughters, it was just a single one. And then when we had our son, I bought one where you can see two at a time. You can see a split screen. So I say if you're having a baby, your first, and you plan on having more, I would definitely spend the extra to get the double one just so you could so that you can see both of them so in the future you're not having to upgrade. If you're able to do that all at once, I would say get the one that you can have more than one um, video on there so that you can see both kids, both rooms, or whatnot. But yes, I highly recommend some sort of monitor and preferably a video monitor. I think I hit on most of the bigger items that you have to ponder and think about is this worth it is it not worth it um when you are having a baby if i miss an item and you have a question about it leave it in the comments below if i have not bought it i'm sure someone else has bought it or has an opinion on it i will definitely answer your guys's questions down there so let's continue that conversation down there if you guys have questions if you guys like this video or found it helpful at all please give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and let me know if you're new to my channel Thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. And if you are new, I will have a list of videos in the description below to help you get to know me a little bit more and my family. I put up videos every week, so I hope you guys stick around and watch some more of our videos. And I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye.